Hi and welcome to Weekend Overviews. I'm Liz McGaw here with Connor Hogan, my co-host. This past weekend has been Homecoming Weekend, which we've had many events, such as Friday afternoon's pep rally. What is Homecoming? Homecoming is the greatest event in high school history. It's what I live for, really. If it wasn't for Homecoming, I'd probably drop out of school when I was in kindergarten. See, what you do is it starts off where you get to vote for your homecoming queen, which is very important, because without her, homecoming doesn't mean anything. So you vote for her. Then, we have a huge pep rally. It's sick, everyone gets fired up, you announce all the teams, everyone just goes nuts. And then, we make banners, we have a nice contest on that, and there's a sick football game. Usually we win it, we'll talk about that a little later. And then there's a nice dance, everyone gets dressed up, looks great, you know, it's a really a great weekend for everyone. There's also a powder puff football game. It's new. We've only been doing it for two years, but it's a great thing. They had a great coach this year for the junior class. We're going to talk about all this stuff. It's a great weekend. What about the pep rally? What do we do during that? Do we get all pepped up and everything? Like... Extremely pep. <laughs> Pepified, if you will. Everyone gets fired up. It starts off, you have the entire football team run into the middle of the gym, just go nuts, jump on top of each other, screaming, just yelling. Everyone gets fired up. It's a great atmosphere. Then they announce all the teams. The coaches get to talk. The captains get to say a little something. Then we have a banner contest. Each class makes a banner that they walk around the gym and compete for who has the best banner. Now, I, I like it because, you know, you get to make a banner. They look sick. It's a good chance for your grade to come together and, you know, fight against the other grades. So it's a good time. Who Banners won the banner good. this year? The seniors won it this year, but it wasn't a good call. Their banner wasn't good. There was nothing good about it. They didn't even work hard on it. They bought it off eBay. They bought it off eBay. They bought it off eBay. <laughs> they bought it off eBay? What would they have on it? Was it just like... I think there was a picture of Coach Grant, which I really think swayed the judging. Oh... All right, so what about the Mills football game? How did that go? What did we do during that? The Mills football game didn't go as well as would have been desired. First half was great. If you were there, the first half of this game was fantastic. One of the best halves of football you've ever seen. Second half, Mohawks came out a little flat and ended up giving up four touchdowns. Lost the game 38-10. It's depressing. Wrecked my weekend. You know, it was really a dark day for Millis. But we're going to fight back. Yeah, well, I heard in halftime we had the cars go around the track and everything, and the homecoming queen came out with the homecoming court with, like, all the other homecoming kings. And, or what are, what are they called? Just, like... I think they're jesters. Just jesters. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we had our Little League. Was it Little League that came out with... Or the Mighty Mites, the Vikings football. Oh, yeah? Yes. Great program. They didn't let me play. And, of course, the junior, juniors and the seniors pa um, powder puff teams came out on the, on the field and everything. That was great. The cars looked awesome. All decorated and everything. Yep. Nice. It's a great time. What about that powder puff game? Powder puff game was fantastic. Yeah. I actually coached the junior class. And I played, so, yeah. You were one of my players. Yes, I was. Key player. Powerpuff game was fantastic. Um, you know, I had a really young team, kind of inexperienced, never been out there before. Everyone worked hard. We had a two-hour practice in pouring rain, and everyone worked hard. You know, we should have won that game. We deserved to. We won on the stat sheet. It was a mental error. We huddled up out of bounds, and it led to a senior touchdown. You know, if it wasn't for that, we would have easily ran away with that game because we outplayed them, outworked them, just wanted it more. Flat out, we could have built a dynasty. Oh. So what was the score? It was just like... The was score six, was 6 nothing. 6 nothing. On, like I said, a mental error. Nothing physical. They didn't outplay us. Well, to conclude our homecoming weekend, basically we left with Amanda Allenbeck as our homecoming queen, right? We did. And is there anything else we can say about homecoming weekend? 
I mean, there was a great dance to end the night. Oh, it was plus. fun. Yeah. We had a good time. Did everyone danced? They announced the court again. Took some pictures. Everyone got dressed up. Looked great. We had um, what uh, people come back from college and yep. some visitors. Got to see and, a lot of yeah. your old friends who have gone off. Former Mohawks. All right. Well, homecoming weekend was definitely a weekend to remember. So join us again with Connor and Liz on Weekend Overviews. And now, good job, good job, everybody.